That's why we are not ashamed to put the sign out there, male leadership. I know when somebody left their weapon in one of our bathrooms, by the way, I had a suggestion today that we put holsters <laughs> in every stall. That way that you people that are carrying this whip your gun out, put it in a holster there. But I got a kick out of when the guy came to interview me. I knew we, I knew what was going to happen. I, I know how those those news people think. You know, they're looking for a story. They're desperate for a story. Their job relies on having a story. So when the guy called me and says, "I want to come over and do a little filming," I called CLA and said, "What do you think I ought to do?" And he says, "Well, if you feel led of the Lord, do it, do it. But normally it don't end up very well." I felt led to do it, give the guy a story. But uh, I, I just knew, I, I told him, I said, I bet they go out there and film that sign, male leadership. And that's going to go out throughout the whole county. Do you know what we'd have had to pay to do something like that? That was probably a $100,000 gift. I'm not going to thank the person that left the weapon, however. It just ended. God had mercy on that whole deal, but... Male leadership, don't you be ashamed you go to a church with male leadership. We, every church that's right with God ought to have a sign, male leadership, because that's the only kind of leadership, both from Adam all the way to the last part of the Bible. It's all been male. This is a man's world. And all the men said, get up, 